Hey everybody. Fatbird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And we're in Murray, Kentucky at the Peddler's Mall. It's bright out here. It is. It's overcast, <laughs> but it's so bright. I keep squinting. We haven't been here in a long time, but we're going to go in here, check it out, and see what we can find. She's pretty, but look, she's well, got little yeah. chippies, and that's the first thing you have to check on a... And her little earrings are missing. So. Yeah, that's too much on a little gal that's got too much missing. This is pretty. Oh, right. I like that. It's free. No, it isn't. $10. That's a good price on that bowl. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. If that's not damaged, we should probably get that. It's just like handmade. I think it is. Hot it looks Springs, like, Arkansas, but it looks like Hager. It does, does look it? like Hager. It definitely does. Look at this, Mary Beth. It's like a little child set, and it's got little clowns and elephants. Those and elephants look like mean. <laughs> look at this one. Maybe they went out of the circus. Maybe. I don't blame them. Yeah, they went out of there. <laughs> They're like trampling these clowns. I don't know about it. Oh, look at this. Wait, what is happening here? I don't know. I don't know. There's a horse over here bucking. I don't know, but that clown right there is like beating them. I don't know about that. That's like... <laughs> what is it? Really disturbing. Are they rabbits? Nobody knows. <laughs> Home co, put it in your home. Here's a glaze of Hager I'm not sure I've ever seen before. Uh oh. So it's got this sticker here. It's marked on the bottom. Yeah, but check out that sticker. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a sticker like that. It has like that Holt Howard looking H. Yeah, but it says Hager there in the middle of it. Yeah. That's cool. That is cool. I like it. I used to have him. Oh. We sold him on eBay, remember? <laughs> Don't tell me about things that you are sad you sold on eBay. <laughs> oh, my little sister Jennifer used to have this cup. Well, that's adorable. I had a lid, but I remember that. That's like a, a repressed memory or something. <laughs> Maybe you need to get this little graduation baby for Megan. <laughs> I'm sure she would really love that. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. Go, boy. This looks like something that you might hey, like. Hey, <laughs> you know what? Remember that really big auction that I went to and loaded up and had all those little smalls and yes. it was a lot of puppies? They were in there. Oh, these these particular ones? Yeah, we've had them before. Oh, some of that stuff you packed up before I even got yeah, home. Yeah, I did. You didn't see all of it. But yeah, we had those little guys. Well, those were cute. Did I hit you? No, but it's a brass donkey. Ooh, I've and never seen a brass carrying one. Carrying his brass salt and pepper containers. Oh, he's so cute. Do we like any of them, Laura? That's a nice little selection. You don't see that many that together very often. True. They're probably a little pricey because they're all sitting there. I see the price on this one here up front, and she's 25. I mean, that doesn't seem terrible. Very cute. What about, <laughs> look at this baby. Do babies have hats that look like, oh, she's got her bonnet on sideways. Aww. Well, isn't that cute? Oh, she's 30. Yeah, very cute. What about this little puppy dog? Well, that's cute. 20. Napco. When I saw this, I was like, that is just like, uh oh, looking enough <laughs> to probably be collectible. And so I turned it over and uh, made an Italy 
via tree. So sure enough, very collectible. This is $20. I'm not sure how much they're going for on eBay, but look out for stuff that looks just a little bit like weird because you never know. So look at the size of this lamp. Look how cool. I know, when we were in this booth, I didn't even notice it. We had to be across the way there looking back to even get the whole effect of it. I love how the shade is kind of a barrel shade and it's burlap. Yeah. Um, it, it's 265 though. Rightly so. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I feel like that's awesome. So every once in a while you'll hear uh, somebody use the term stretch glass, like specifically when they're referring to a swung vase, that it's stretched. That's not exactly correct. So let me show you what stretch glass looks like. All right, so you see the edges here of this piece, how it almost appears like they have stretch marks. And I mean, that's correct, they do. So this glass has sort of been stretched out. Um, it is actually uranium too, and it has sort of this opalescent uh, look to it. But that- It's a cute piece that they want 30 for it, which is probably retail. Right, but yeah, if you ever see edges like that on a piece that look like they've <laughs> quite literally have stretch marks. That's what stretch glass is. Mm, I really like it when things look sideways. That's funny to me. Laura is a few booths ahead of me. I'm going to yell, oh, swung vases, really loud. And I'm going to see what she says. She's going to say something like, where? I missed it. Oh my gosh, look at all these swung vases. What? Right here, look at all these swung vases. Stop it. What are you looking at? <laughs> I knew I just walked past there. God. Oh, look what you found. Yeah, I think these are cute. These are little Tonala. Tonala. I mean, Say it right. Tonala. He's got a tiny little place right there. But he's cute. Is he supposed to be an owl? I don't know. Why I does think... he have front feet? Yeah, I'm not sure. But he's cute. And then look, there's a the little kitty cat. Yeah. I think those are cute. Yeah, those are really cute. Ooh, I like those. Those are cool. Oh, okay. those are neat. $22.95 and it's Bambi and Thumper. Oh, where's Thumper? I don't see Thumper. Well, that's what they said. It's I don't really I don't think thumper. that's Thumper. But, oh yeah, they just, they just they wrote think. it. But it is really Bambi. So we've seen, uh, Fenton Persian medallion uh, fairy lamps before, but I don't think I've ever seen the bowl that matches. Glows, it says. $32.50 each. Those are really pretty. So this one's like a lighter custard and this one's darker. Those are really cool. I'm really struggling to find anything video worthy, Laura. I know, this has been happening to me for like two weeks while you've been at work. It's a lot of like this. Yes. <laughs> and then see, there'll be one little piece, but it's hardly, you know, you don't really want to stop in video, but he's kind of cute actually, like a piece of bank. He is cute, but I mean, he's $6. That wouldn't be much of a flip for us. No. So I think the consensus is, the consensus is that this place has pretty decent prices for the things that we are finding. Not really flippable prices, but also not a ton of vintage selection here, but we're just on row two, so let's not give up yet. All right, here's a booth with a few possibilities maybe. That really pretty moon and star compote there. It looks like, mm. I think 1284 or something. Some pretty glass back there in the back. Let's see. Some carnival. These are matching. Those looks are cute. like 550 each on those. Those are pretty. Uh, some bisque figurines there. Then on the top is a little bit more glass. Then over here are some smalls, some salt and pepper shakers. Let's see, this set is 550. Here's a paperweight. 
again, it's just like right on the brink of do we want to pay that much or not? Those little chicks don't look vintage, but they're awfully cute. I'm sure you guys are going to see that we've missed something, as always. Here's a little fat bird. I like that swirl pattern. It's really pretty. You guys see anything that we could use for mystery boxes? Oh my gosh, look at these squirrels. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. Oh, I love and those. And they like hang on this tree. So they're salt and peppers. Yeah. They're probably a little too much, but they're awfully cute. Six fifty for the set. They're pretty cute, though. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mary Beth, look, I've never seen an afghan that has, like, a design put in there, like those Sunbonnet Sioux babies. Don't say Sunbonnet Sioux. <laughs> you know, quilts are made with that all the time, but I've never seen an afghan done like that. That's pretty impressive. Now you have. Do you want some cookbooks? Oh, we're getting ready to get some. I know. <laughs> I mean, come on. Whoa. Sophia Loren. Who's she fighting? <laughs> that is risque for 1966, the cover of a magazine. Yeah. Oh, look, that's my, that's, I was born September 1966. Wow. Maybe I need that. Maybe you do. That is really something. She just, is. Just, just because I was born. <laughs> right. I found Viking glass. How did I walk right past that? <laughs> that makes me mad at you. Laura walked right past it and I found it. I was just shaking my head because of all of this stuff. You, and then you found something good. Are you jealous? Yes. Well, though it's ten ninety nine. Oh. So I mean I would expect to make maybe eighteen on that. So I mean that wouldn't be that much of a flip. It would be better if it was a different color. Exactly. Would you like a sock kitty? Maybe. Oh, a little cat made out of a sock? Maybe. That's kind of cute. Is it? <laughs> you finding something good? I like these little swallows. I think that's what these are. I think they're home co. Oh, those are cute. Aren't those cute? Yeah, I love Little those. wall hangings? For sure. <laughs> what is it? Look, it's a bobblehead turtle with babies. Why does, oh. Look. Well, that's funny. Look at his little feet. That's. And it's, it's little tail. Kind of adorable. I mean, what is it though? Is it just a figurine? Yes. It does, like its shell doesn't open or anything? No. Well, that's kind of cute. I like it. I kind of like it. How okay. much is it? Five dollars. Maybe we need to take a chance on him. <laughs> Laura, I found you some faults, graph. Oh, it's been a long time since we've talked about the faults, graph. That's like a throwback from like our first video. It really is. <laughs> yikes. What is that? Did you say yikes? Yeah. Look, around the corner. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say? I said, I think I found something to put on eBay, but he's $5, but look, he's concrete and he's a Santa. Is that awesome? Yeah, because it's Carruth Studios. Oh. So remember when we were back in the day when I started with the concrete and stuff? No. I would look at it. This is a very fancy garden company. Oh. And that's probably like $50. Stop. <laughs> I don't believe it. Maybe I need these little Marvel characters. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Is that Beatrix Kiddo? I don't know who that one is. Beatrix. What? I can't say that. It you didn't come out Beatrix right. Kiddo? Beatrix Kiddo. Hmm. This could be an interesting area where we might just look into something. Laura literally just told me to say those words. <laughs> she said, why don't you come over here and say this? <laughs> I can't believe you said that. <laughs> this filing cabinet is $75. I didn't know filing cabinets were such a thing. 
until we've started to notice them. Maybe we need a question of the day. Do you want some Parcheesi? Make and match an animal head. Whitman, That's, there's probably cute stuff in there for package shoppers, but it's taped shut. Maybe. You'll never know unless you buy it. <laughs> Can you pull, pull this out? No. It's so heavy. Which, this? That, uh-huh. Why is it so heavy? <laughs> What is it? I think they're like magnets. <laughs> it says magnetic steel playing cards. Oh, it's Perfect windproof. For beach, boat, car, train, porch, patio, or sick bed. Oh, <laughs> my God. Gosh, that's so old. How much is it? $12.99. That might be fun. It's heavy. Let's just get it and see what happens. Okay. I found the first swung vase of the day. Oh. I'm getting it. That's pretty. I don't understand this. Why is this a Snow White refrigerator? Is this where she goes when she dies? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> that seems kind <sighs> of uh-oh to me. Here's a little blonde mid-century dresser, Laura. The pulls on it, they look like little bows. Yeah, I, gosh, I've seen a million of those back in the day. Also, here's some little sets of cookie cutters. This one's only $2 and this one's only $2. These are fun for mystery boxes to throw those into, so we might pick those up. Aren't those something sometimes? Yeah, I mean, only if you can find them super cheap, which this one is, $1.50. Yeah. I think they usually... They'll usually bring about $8 or so oh, yeah? because people are starting to collect those. We could see about that. What's up with these guys? Those are cute in 70s looking with their little paint jobs, right? I don't know exactly. Now, he does have some chips, which is unfortunate. Have you ever seen a frog on a leash before? <laughs> no. But he's kind of cute. Let's see what he says. Japan. Japan. So he's cute. Do you think that was his original coloring or do you think somebody painted that on him later? Well, I think it was original, but I think the brown's worn off. Okay. I feel like that's he's interesting. A bank. Does he have his stopper on the bottom? He's only a dollar ninety nine. He's missing his stopper, but he's very cute. I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, let's think about it. Where you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, I hate that a lot. A rope monkey. Yeah, let's leave. That's haunted. <laughs> We're going to leave that there. This appears to be maybe in Poli. I'm not sure. That handle. Yeah, maybe not. This is... Oh, you know what this is? This is one of those decanters that keep things cold so you fill that with ice. I may be wrong. That optic pattern from a distance caught my attention but this may just be a handmade piece. What do you guys think? So I think we did decent. We didn't stay in here a ton of time but we got several little things. I did put that clear swung vase back. It had a little blemish on it uh, where it was manufactured but overall we did okay. Uh, maybe we'll head to the Murray Goodwill next and make a longer video out of this. What do you say, Laura? I think that sounds like a great idea. Okay, we're at the Goodwill. Okay. It's not looking good. No, we're going to have to try hard. Yeah, we are. We're going to do our best. Okay. Hey, Laura. Do you want a foam finger? <laughs> I thought you were just cheering me on. <laughs> maybe I need this for flipping and sipping. When I get mad at you, I can be like... Oh, yeah. Just let's get it. <laughs> Laura, maybe we need these like glass looking crystal lamps. Are those, do you like those for you? Yeah. <laughs> you do not. It's my jam. <laughs> Who did you find? Oh, he's kind of cute. I know, but here's the problem with Goodwill. Look, he's $5. Yeah. And he was only $5.99 to, to begin, begin with. <laughs> Come on, Goodwill. 
This is kind of cute, actually. This little honey pot. How do you feel about this giant safety pin? <laughs> what even would you do with that? Maybe put it in a nursery? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, in a nur do you usually do like distressed things in a nursery? I doubt it. I've got it. How much money would it take for me to buy you these and you like let me set your hair overnight and then wear it curly the next day? I don't know about it. <laughs> I used to do this in my hair when I was little, like six years old. I don't know about it. Every night. I don't think I want to do that. It's a really cute set. <laughs> so, as most of you know, the Goodwill in Western Kentucky is usually just a strikeout for us. And that's the same thing today. And I'm gonna go you one better than that. It's getting worse. Because yeah, because you can't see the Goodwill sign, but tilt it up so they can see that. I don't think it's here. there. Oh, I see. I what think you're it's saying. on the front of the building. This okay. is like the side entrance. But not only are we striking out, we're striking out and the stuff is expensive. Yeah, like not even good stuff is like Wouldn't really it. expensive. It's crazy. It's nuts. There was a dirty Tupperware container that we probably didn't even show because it was dirty. And it was $8. Yeah, and I was at a Goodwill, the Goodwill yesterday in Paducah and there was a hen on a nest in there for $25. <sighs> I was like, come on, people. So, yeah, yeah, it's just not working out for us. But we had a good day at the Peddler's Mall, so that was fun. Yeah. So if you saw anything in the video that you liked from the Peddler's Mall, you can send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Uh, send us an email. We'll give you a price, and you can buy from us that way. It's the best way to buy something. The best way to buy something. <laughs> all right, guys, so make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It all helps, the things. All the things. It helps our channel grow, and we appreciate it so much. As always, everybody, make sure you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.